So the other day, a neighbor brought me a little drilling job he wanted me to do. Uh, a bunch of square plates. He wanted four holes drilled in each one. And the plates were of two different sizes, but close to each other. This is an easy job for a CNC milling machine. All you have to do is have a way to place each subsequent plate in exactly the same place as the previous one. I decided the best way to accomplish this was to make a pair of soft jaws for my vise. I made the ones you see in the picture, uh, but in retrospect it was a little more work than I had expected. Uh, there's making the stock the right size, getting the holes drilled in the right place, and then of course the machining of the pocket that's going to clamp the plates. However, I really liked using the soft jaws. That was fun. It worked out beautifully. And I got to thinking uh, more about soft jaws and that maybe there are other jobs I do that would be facilitated by having a few sets of soft jaws. On eBay, I found soft jaws um, already drilled. And in fact, I found soft jaws that had a key-shaped opening uh, which made them quick connect and disconnect. They were standard sizes, made to fit a curt or compatible vise, a six inch vise in my case. And um, so price didn't look too bad. And in fact, I could buy these jaws uh, cheaper than I could buy the material to buy them. So I bought a set of 10. A few days later, a very heavy box arrived. Uh-oh. Hmm. These holes are uh, not exactly in the right place. Um, maybe my vice is not an exact clone of a Kurt. Well, it's a very good vice, but the holes are definitely in the wrong place. Not only that... These holes look very large compared those to those in uh, my vice jaws. Fortunately, there was one good thing, and that is that the distance between the holes was the same as my vice. So there were a couple other things to be corrected. I need to do something about the size of the holes and also the distance from the edge. I solved the distance problem by... Uh, surfacing about 50 thousandths off one side of each of the five pairs. The holes in the new soft jaws were evidently made for half inch bolts and my bolts are metric uh, M10s. So how to solve that problem. Washers would have worked, but that have made uh, the whole operation of changing the jaws a little clumsy. And I decided instead to make these little cups and shine up the heads and then glue them together. This bit is left over from uh, some woodwork that I did at one time.
So I guess now the job is to make a new set of hard jaws that are compatible. Thanks for watching.